Hello and welcome back to next Grand Arena episode. This is Dark Painkiller here. I'm happy to see you all. So I want to go through the latest round. And actually it was a very interesting final against Kertlos Vagar. Sorry guy, sorry man if I'm mispronouncing your name. Let's have a look at it. Maybe let's actually start from looking at my defense first. Yeah, so he actually did a pretty good job. Just one failed attempt against my Padme. I guess that because it is a tricky team, right? With this gear 11 Baris, it procs Anakin really quick. And his final score is actually not bad. It's 2437. Pretty okay, but I knew from the beginning. By the way, I'm just recording this audio post the attack phase because it was recorded on my phone. You know the actual gameplay. I knew that it's. I have actually pretty good room of failure here with, with his score. That I knew that I can afford at least one field attempt, which is always good if you are going uh, after the strong opponent. So I'm just speed running through this because I really was in rush. So I used my favorite counter for all the GG squad, being uh, General Anakin Skywalker. This is no brainer. It's some say that it might be uh, an overkill. To some extent, but uh, it is an easy way to get a 55 banners. Really, it's no real issue. But, uh, regarding whether it's new in the squad as a fifth, or you know, what Tambor, and Droidica, it always result in the 55 banner victory due to the, you know, obviously the mechanic that Gas offers, which basically prevents from losing any health from five or first allies until. His protection is there, as so you can see, the counter-attack to death, which is always funny to watch. So it's really like, it's an easy counter. You, you could probably do it by pressing auto button, but just need to make sure that you have full control over this battle. Of course, the more target logs you have, the more termiter those droids are getting, so uh, it might affect your score, but as you can see, really easy job, I think, something under like two minutes maybe a minute and a half and we are up to the first battle which is good now onto the Padme team I'm always checking the speed and health on Padme and the new Padme just to check if I am able to outrun her so my usual counter for this is standard JKR team and nothing really major here mm. It tends to work really well, even against uh, you know R8 Kenobi, R7 Anakin, or R7 R2, like in this case, just because of the fact that this team is actually it's capable of doing a pretty good single hit damage. It's mostly coming from Yoda, so you really want to avoid doing the assists. I just did this Grandmaster training to boost uh, Yoda's health, uh, sorry Yoda's damage output at the very beginning of the battle, and from now on. I'm just marking Anakin, not a big surprise, he's the primary damage dealer in this team. So I'm, as you can see, avoiding as much as I can using any assists, doing basics, doing you know the big hit special from Yoda. It just gets the job done, so you, you probably need to have, apart from damage, you probably need to have some critical chance as well on your Yoda. And my Yoda is modded purely for like speed and offense, plus critical chance. Okay, then we just we want to stall it a little bit, recover some protection, uh, decrease their health probably, and just wait for the next mark to come. Then obviously we're gonna mark Padme, and that will be game over. If we can get rid of Padme from this squad, uh, the remaining Galactic Republic folks are pretty much, you know, they, they are helpless. So this is a pretty tanky Padme. I actually seen recently that it's actually not a bad idea because everybody's modding uh, Padme for max health. It actually makes sense to mod her for defense. This might be a, you know, a surprise for some of you, but, you know, in, in terms of survival, survivability uh, defense is actually better because the primaries from defense when you upgrade the mods you're getting much more value 
out of defense mods, I believe it's... I can't really remember if it's 30% per mod, and while health is only 16%, right? Like on, on the 6e mod. Obviously it scales up with, with the way the Padma kit works, but still I think that some defense on Padma, especially on Kenobi, would be really nice to have. So as you can see, this is a really clean battle. I, I think that we finished this one with 60 banners, if I'm not mistaken, we'll see that in a moment. So here I'm just doing whatever I want really, because there's no real danger. So oh, one, one more master stroke, probably two more hits or just an assist, and bingo. Second game is over, it's another 60 banner, or the first 60 banner for tonight. Then the gas, and I'm also checking how their gas is being modded. It seems that this one is modded for speed and protection, which from my point of view, it's not the ideal way of modding gas. You really should go for offense. So, by the way, uh, gas can be really easy, easily chased by Sith Eternal Emperor, even the one without the ultimate. So, you guys should be really careful when you are setting your gas on defense. I know that it's tempting because it's a, a really tough team to go through. As you can see, this is almost an auto battle for Sith Eternal Emperor. So, definitely not worth it if, if you see that your uh, opponent has. C unlocked. It's really like easy 60 or 61 banners for for me in that case. I mean, don't even think, yeah, because as, lo as long as his protection gets removed, with this is a part of how the link ability works, he's losing, I believe, 25% of his protection, 20% of protection with each move, each turn. So very quickly. He's down to his knees and he's not really coming back because he's, he doesn't have any uh, way to recover this protection now. So usually what happens, it's, you know, with the turns taken by the 501st allies, he's slowly regener regenerating this protection until the point where he's just standing up and doing some really nasty stuff usually can, you know, remember the old days when I was trying to counter this thing with Sith, Sith uh, Empire team but it tends to, you know, it, it worked like 70% of the time just because of the fact that you even in this last phase when you were able to get rid of all the clones really quick he was standing up and crushing all my team including Malak with this armor shred so you see this is a way to go it's easily done with just the tan tank attack from what? And now we can just keep spamming basics, no real need for the ultimate. This is actually pretty depressing to see gas being taken out so easily, but hey, that's a mistake from my opponent. He knew that I have Sith Eternal Emperor, and he actually he shouldn't put him on defense. Okay, on to the next wall where we have really crappy defense to be honest with you. and. This actually surprised me because I thought this guy obviously he full cleared me uh, with just one failed attempt. But I thought that he put at least one GL on defense. So if you if you are watching my my JC videos, you know that I'm hardly ever putting any GLs on defense. I think that it's a waste. I think it's all about putting as strong defense as you can possibly can. With, without GLs basically. Alright, and f for those GLs I haven't even checked the mods really, but just as a, like my insurance, the policy, I'm adding the Sidious into the mix, because he's R7, it's highly unlikely that they will be able to get rid of him really quick with like one assist, so this damage as you can see it's kind of spread across the team, and I can see from now that I will be just fine with just the trio, but Nevertheless, it helped me a little bit, as you will see right now, to remove those bugs really quickly. So just the AoE from Sion, and then one basic from Sidious, the second basic, and the match is over. And it's easy 58 banners. Could have been potentially, I think, 59. Oh well, I have already like a big banner um, advantage here, so I'm not really concerned about that. So next one, 
there will be bounty hunters, right? And for bounty hunters, I'm probably gonna use CLS, right? Could have easily went for an uh, underdog team with probably just the core three of the team being CLS, Chewbacca and Han Solo. Since I already completed my underdog feats and didn't really have a need to fight for those extra banners, I decided to go with a full team to see how quickly we can go through this. Obviously, we need to go through Bosk as soon as possible to prevent any tank, any any sort of any taunts or regeneration from his side and mass assist. But it's really embarrassing to see how easily those bounty hunters can be taken out by the CLS team. It's just way too overpowered. So what I'm doing here, I'm probably removing, I'm applying the blind. Which is good, because even the Dengar, who's under stealth right now, he won't be able to really attack me with this thermal detonators. And usually Den the Dengar is the biggest ban banner stealer for this team, so you gotta be careful, because one and, and one AoE from Dengar and you are basically down to 50 fight from 60 banners. For card, I originally I plan to go with OG Kylo. But I actually decided to use some leftover Jedi teams. Because I still I, I think that at this point I did have an access to both Jedi Knight Luke and Old Ben. Where I'm going next? I'm going to North Sector just to work on the Monmo. Okay, I'm using my Imperial Troopers against the Bounty Hunters. So these are the Oh, sorry, against the Night Sisters. So these are the Night Sisters with Ness. So kind of a premium squad. Ooh, and this assage was really quick. I should have checked the mods. Faster than my PL, that's interesting. Anyways, we will be able to go through this pretty quickly, but the nest is, is a pain because she's obviously counter-attacking. But this is even at low relics, this Imperial Trooper team just melts through the Night Sisters, even the relic ones. So much, you know, firepower. We have a Dark Trooper. Okay, this was unexpected. I didn't like that. I almost lost range, who's gear 9, I believe, or gear 10. But this is really cool. You see this AoE from Piet? I was able to kill. One of the Night Sister and uh, all the others were immediately feared, which is a really cool mechanic. I didn't know about that, like from the beginning when I started using Piet. This is a really cool part of his kick. And now it's I'm just looking if there is any way to mm, regenerate health and protection here, but I think that only range has it, so that's pretty much it. Should have been 60. It's 58 against the Night Sister. I'll oh, actually take it. Okay, with that. Okay, we have three battles left before we enter the ship sector. Um, so this, for this Mon Mothma team, which is kind of thinner because they have the Rebel Scout and this is obviously generating some additional Termiter. Also the Zeta Pao. So I cannot really like go too easily on this one. So I just decided to take 4 Empire Folks. Probably another overkill, but hey, better be, you know, on the safe side. So since this is uh, Empire Emperor Palpatine lit, I can open with Iwi. Now going to Merciless. So it's like a slaughter fest from Vader, really. If you're going after rebels with Vader, this reminds me of all the scenes from the movies. Rogue One and Empire Strikes Back. He's doing really quick all quick work, so I'm just a finisher from Tron. 61 banners. Yeah, the more I see Mon Mothma on defense, the, the more I actually think that this team is pretty bad on defense nowadays. Maybe in the back wall to catch your opponent off guard, but no, please don't set it on, on your front wall because it's just a waste of banners. Okay, for this card team, I think that we will use some Jedi's. Oh, we'll actually use just the Jedi Master Luke. 
yeah he's the after all he's the galactic legend so he should be able to to do it although it will actually take a while and i don't know probably with the bad mods and some really bad luck you, potentially you could lose that i don't know because at some point they will rip me out of the protection i have this healing immunity so no, technically cannot be stunned as a galactic legend which is good because otherwise i'm pretty sure that this team could potentially counter him but look at what happens he's just way too beefy for them so he's slowly getting rid of them one by one obviously kylo being the the beefiest one from from them so i just decided to leave him for the last part just an aoe boom headshot and match over with 63 banners which is pretty good so also i don't really recommend to set this team of this uh, defense you know leftover first order i think that they are better on offense sometimes i'm doing it in the mirror you know, phasma versus phasma and my phasma is pretty fast so it's all about speed okay and for the car team i think that we'll just use oh, what do we use interesting fact is i think that we <laughs> we still had this lkr on our disposal so we didn't even use the slkr in this jc which is a shame because he could easily solo pretty much any of those teams which were set on defense on, on the back wall i just I, mean, I was just blind probably i didn't notice but still with with look it's extremely easy to counter you know all the public because if any of your Jedi can go first, and this is a well-known trick. You are putting like very fast Shakti or Henry Dioda into the mix. Then all you need to do is just need to use the special from Luke Lead. He's get, he's getting the immediate turn. He's stunning everybody, and from them it's it's a slaughter fest. Old Ben can reduce termiter termiter for anyone. He he can ability block, so it's easy, very easy to control the battle. And look what happened here. I was feeling really good about this JC already. Very like confident, so I didn't really pay too much attention to the composition of this Galactic Republic team. I mean I know that ah ah Ahsoka in the starting lineup is kind of a good counter to separatists, but what I could have done differently? Uh, probably nothing because I put my negotiator on defense uh, as long with uh, rebels and they were both taken very easily by my opponent so okay this goes as predicted but with Ahsoka being able to you know remove those bus droids it's really sketchy counter to be honest and you will see why in, in a few seconds so actually started okay because they got rid of my vulture droid has to is still there so they were not able to kill him off pretty really quickly but now we have another tank on the battlefield so we are and you can see what happened so but ahsoka immediately mm, cleared off the past raids she spread the retribution which is not really cool so what i'm doing here i'm just calling for sunfag to get the double stun basically and it was not enough to go through uh, sarge must have been a really tanky search, so mm, now I'm debating what to do next. I'm trying to get rid of BB BTLY fast, but as you can see, they were able to enter into this unending loyalty, which prevents me from killing them instantly. And this is a pain, it's a real pain because now I need to kill them twice, and look, look what happens. They followed up with the quick uh, ultimate, and this is very unfortunate, as you can see. This battle went south really quick, so at this point I knew that I'm not gonna win this in one go. I was trying to get rid of at least one ship, possibly Anakin, but he's just hidden behind those. You see, those two towns are yeah, really tough counter for, for grievous team okay and now the plot so the worst possible scenario just materialized so the plot plot entered the battlefield he 
added extra health and protection to anyone and now I'm nowhere near to to finish to wrap up this battle really here I did try to get rid of Annie but I didn't have enough firepower there was only one Geo on the battlefield so I'm actually thinking whether putting Hans Tooth in the starting lineup is a is a good thing because maybe if I had Sunfuck in the starting lineup with all the separatists I could have done more damage by this point and now I can all I can do is just you know AoE out of despair and those galactic Republic, they, are, they are all buffed and angry so they will make a quick work out of me so another town that I cannot go around and the match is over sorry to sorry to see that but it happens and at this point I decided I need to like first encounter this empire and and for when I this is my go-to strategy whenever I see Tron Chimera on defense I'm actually countering this with uh, Tarki because he's faster I think he's giving his team much more offense than, than Tron so I think it's a no-brainer uh, doing Tron uh, mirror match is actually kind of tricky because uh, if they all, if uh, they have, uh, you know, the equivalent level of relics on their throne, it's a coin flip, really, because it depends on who goes first, who who enters the ultimate. Firstly, with this ultimate, you are, you know, immediately killing off one one guy from the opponent's side, and you are recovering a bunch of health and protection. So, I actually wanted to uh, avoid it. Not a great RNG in this JC, as you can see, n not a single debuff landed with AoE from Tarkin, which is a really, it is a shame, because I would, l I was actually hoping to see some target locks, oh sorry, ability blocks, some defense down, but fortunately we have those dudes who are spreading dots, bombs, burn, a lot of, lots of goody stuff, it really kills off many teams very quickly. So all I need to do now, I just need to do a few hits from my Thai Advanced. This Thai Advanced is really brutal. Okay, now I'm trying to buff my team a little bit. Okay. And then Darth Vader, Vader is, is done. So as the Thai Pilot. So now it's just a matter of what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to bring the Command Shuttle to recover some protection. And then I'm gonna finish up with this... Uh, with the enemy shuttle, Emperor shuttle, pretty cool ship, very underrated. So middle special goes to Sith bomber. I actually should have used it on Imperial bomber, I guess, to get more banners out of this. But 60, hey, 60 is still okay. It's actually pretty good for countering throne. And now just for the cleanup, I didn't have much option. I had throne with. Um, Bounty Hunter slash Scoundrels or Kenom uh, sorry or Fanalizers. Obviously, I'm going for Fanalizer. Uh, this one is really tricky, and I was feeling really nervous about that because you know um, this is a rather sketchy counter. So I'm just checking from those reinforced abilities on Thai pilots or. TIE Fighters to see which one should go to the starting lineup and which one should go for the reinforcement. I tend to use the SF pilot uh, on the starting lineup just because of the uh, call to assist ability. So I'm taking everything that I can minus the bounty hunters just because I want to have this last resort ship if I fail this one. So I decided to take just some random ships, Scimitar. Scimitar and who seat fighter probably yeah okay let, let's see how it go how it went actually since we are looking at this from right perspective just go for it I'm just double checking the bounty hunter that I have left okay seems okay let's do it do it all right so it's now you can you can feel the nerves you can feel the pressure in the air this is like the match that 
basically will decide whether I win this or I lose and it started really bad actually so I'm, yeah I knew that what I need to do I need to put the sound how the debuff on Anakin because it yeah it greatly reduces his uh, attacking capabilities I'm going after Ahsoka I don't know if it was the best thing to do then I decided to call um, silencer on Ahsoka uh, all of them have uh, an ending loyalty so I need to kill them twice which is not ideal okay at least I have a stun okay let's see what I'm doing here I don't want to use surprise right yet so I'm gonna do the basic probably yeah away from Anakin he's still under the protection of negotiator I should have used the basic here I think I was really like highly unlikely that I will be able to one hit full health and full protection BTLY so I just decided to take who Ebon Hawk yeah I think that was a good call because now yeah still what well, just be careful of Sarge because even if you use this buff dispel he's still able to maintain the town but I'm getting rid of him right now almost there almost there guys just as the SF type pilot but that doesn't really matter and what I'm trying to do here since I have a daze on silencer no need to use surprise raid okay I did lose a couple of ships but fortunately I was able to kill off the tank make a big hit AOE boom 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 I want you in my room one more full so we have plow I just removed the buffs I decided to go after plow first what I'm trying to do here I'm trying yeah just to kill off plow probably because this is a no-brainer and then yeah dodge from silencer and we are all set we are all set guys so that was a little bit nervous but it worked I'm really happy about that that I need didn't need to do the three battles on his negotiator because that would end pretty bad probably for me okay only 36 banners but I knew that it will be enough since the guy didn't have such a high score so that would be it for now as you can see this was a pretty tough matchup but the win nonetheless so thank you for watching give me the like hit the subscribe button and, and the bell icon and hope to see you the next time